guys and welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys how to make menudo but this time is gonna be a little bit more different what you laugh <laughs> we are outside of ranch market I'm gonna be showing you guys the ingredients um, you know for the recipe so like that you guys can have a clue of how much it is and all that good stuff so you guys I hope you enjoy this kind of video First, we're gonna start with the bolillo because it's not a menudo unless you have bolillo so here we have the bolillo. Who's gonna help me get it? Help me, come on. So it's three for a dollar, sir. How much? This is delicious, smells so good. We're gonna grab about six in here. Or just put as many as you want. Hold it. Grab about nine. Oh. <laughs> Two. Mm -hmm. Three. Four, five. Okay, grab another bag. Oh produce is next. We're gonna start grabbing our onion, garlic, and limes. <laughs> so I'm just gonna grab about three onions because we're gonna need one for the meat and then one for the meat garnish. Ten lines will be good. Okay. So we're gonna need some chile ancho and some chile colorado. Usually they have the, like the small bags, you know, because we're not gonna need that many of the chile ancho. And this is a chile ancho, you guys. But see, we don't, we're not gonna need that much. So I'm trying to see if I can find like where they have just like about three or four. So they don't have it here. Let's see over here. Uh oh, right here. They have it. So. Okay, and here they have the chile colorado. So we're only gonna use about half the bag. So this is good. And they here they have it for two for six dollars. It's actually pretty cheap here. Come on. Okay. So we got our chiles, and now we need our garlic. And we're going to need about one head of garlic. So here they have the head, the packet, three for five. So I'm just gonna buy one of these. Of course, we cannot forget our cilantro. Cilantro is two for one dollar. Next, we need some spices. We're going to need some oregano and some bay leaves. And here they have it at one dollar each bag. We're going to need one can of hominis. Here they have it for two for five, so we're just gonna need one. And we cannot forget our salt. And lastly, you guys, we need our meat. So we're gonna be using this right here, menudo casita, that's five dollars a pound. We're gonna need five pounds. And then you guys can also add pata if you want, but I don't know, I don't like the pata, so. <laughs> so I think I grabbed everything we need for the menudo, so. That's our ingredients except for the goldfish of course <laughs> alrighty guys so that's it we got all of our ingredients so it's gonna cost us about $45 to make menudo it is a little bit pricey but what makes it expensive is the meat because the meat alone was $25 but just keep in mind that it does make a lot and it is perfect for the holidays so it's so worth it so let's get going we're gonna go home and start prepping everything Alrighty guys, so we made it back home, so now let's get started! Alrighty guys, so I changed because it was getting a little bit too hot in here and I know once I have the menudo, it's gonna get even hotter. So I just got a little bit more comfortable, you know, and we can start cooking our delicious menudo! Alrighty guys, so we are going to start by prepping our honeycomb tripe. Um, we are going to start by cutting it and then wash it and do all the good stuff and if you have the feet right now is a perfect time also to get them out and throw them in your pot and do, you're gonna do basically the same thing so and I'm just gonna cut them about one inch big because once they cook they are gonna shrink so make sure that you guys don't cut them very small wash 
our meat really, really good, okay? So just make sure that you wash it. Work it, girl, work it. Work it, girl, work it. Mm. Alrighty, so now I'm just gonna transfer my honeycomb into a big pot where I'm gonna cook my menudo. Here I have a 12 quart uh, pot, so I'm gonna transfer it in there. And then I'm also going to add, let me wash my lime, one lime. So we're gonna cut it in half. Throw it in there. I'm gonna throw about five garlic cloves and then one onion. So we're gonna throw the onion in there and then two of your bay leaves. So I like to get the whole ones, you know, the big ones. Throw them in there. And of course, some oregano. And for the oregano, you guys, I'm gonna sound like your mom and your grandma. You're gonna use one handful. So put one handful. Just like that, throw it in there. And let's not forget, salt. And of course. And for the salt, you guys, you guys are always gonna be able to go back and add some more, okay? So just add a little bit now, just so you can give the meat the flavor and of course we're gonna add a water in the water I like to put halfway full so, cold water of course okay so just about that now we're just gonna put it in our stove about for two hours into a medium high heat so two hours and then we can start prepping our chile alrighty guys so it's been about an hour and a half and this is what our meat should look like um, the meat is already getting soft so while that's still finishing cooking we're gonna start working on our chiles alrighty guys so now I'm just going to prepare our chile and I'm gonna use 15 of this chile um, colorado so we are going to depot them take out everything the seeds Take out the steam and everything, okay? And we're going to boil them. And we are going to be doing the same thing with the um, chile pasillas. So just take out the steam. Open them, and these are a little bit harder because they are super dry, but just take them out. And we're only using four. Now we're just going to add water and then we're gonna boil them. Alrighty guys, so this is what the chiles look like. So now we're just gonna let them boil for about um, 10 to 15 minutes, and then we can get our chile started. Alrighty guys, so while our chiles are boiling, we are going to start um, to rinse out our hominis, okay? Alright 
got one cup of hominis and set it to the side because we're going to use it to blend it with our chiles. All right, so now I'm just gonna throw my granitos with the meat. And we're just gonna let them cook for 20 minutes. And now we can start working with the chiles because they're done boiling. All right, so now I'm just gonna put all my chiles in the blender. Get everything in there, and then we are going to throw our hominis, and that's just to make the sauce thicken. And then we're going to add two garlic and some salt. And I'm going to use about two cups of the water. Use another two and a half. And now for the fun part. Get it all together. Close right away. Technical difficulties. All right, you guys, so now it's been 20 minutes, so now we're going to put our chile into our pot. So I'm just gonna strain it, and your sauce should be looking something like this. So just like that. And also you guys, if you wanna pick, you know, go through the uh, pot and take out the garlics and the lemon and all that stuff, it's up to you. Me, I'm just gonna leave it in there, you know, and whoever gets lucky then gets lucky, and then, yeah. <laughs> Sorry guys. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just gonna throw it in there. chile into my blender just so we can get the, all the leftover chile just like that Skin. We don't want that and the seeds and all that. So get it as much as you can. Okay, I think I got it all. <coughs> so now we're just gonna mix it. And of course, you're gonna try it for salt and all that flavor. It needs a little bit more salt. And you guys, I forgot to mention, but I'm gonna throw like about five chile de árbol just to, you know, spice it up a little in there. Just mix it. And I'm gonna add a little bit of 
serve more oregano. That's what it looks like so far. And now we're just gonna let it boil for about, what is it, 15 minutes? Just to finish it up. And that is basically it. That's it for our menu, you guys. Okay, so this is a perfect time, you know, to start cutting up your onions and your cilantro and your lemons and start setting up the table for you when your guests come in. Everything will be nice and ready. So that's what I'm gonna be doing now. And then we can start eating. So my pan, I'm gonna put my, my, I like to put my pan in the comal with a lot of butter. So you can get rid of the dishes now. Start cleaning up. Oh my God, you guys, the house smells delicious and it's just bringing memories, you know, of Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year. Football. And football <laughs> so I'm making my bread right here and I like to put a lot of butter you know and put it in the comal that tastes just delicious especially if you dip it into the you know the caldito <sighs> so good and I already have my limes my chile de árbol and the chile de árbol you guys is because I like the seeds I like to crack them open and then pour it in my menudo like that and of course you cannot it cannot be a complete without the onion and the cilantro and let's not forget the cold Coca-Cola. Because without the soda, this menudo doesn't go down Fine. good. <laughs> and we don't have any soda. <laughs> so we better go get some because I invited my mom, my dad, my brothers, and um, Lizzie, Daniel, Jesus. all of them. So hopefully they do make it. I told them to be here like in 20 minutes, you know, so give us time to finish up wrapping up the video. So hopefully they do make it in time. So we can all eat here, you know, have dinner. And this is the final result, you guys. Mm. And there's the bread and everything once we put it up. Out. Once we put it all together. My mouth is so watery. Uh oh, and I think Nana and Tata are here. Let me just put it together for you guys. I like to put open, open the, the door. Seats. And of course, some lime. And then you can also put some more oregano if you want. I think I, need, I want some more of this. And there's Tata. Pase, saluda. Saluda, don't do that. Hi! <laughs> they just got here. <laughs> so today, my mom and my dad are going to be giving the um, taste test. So. Pruébalo. Vamos a hollar. Opinión honesta, ¿ok? Me van a decir su opinión honestamente. Vamos a, a, a probar este menudo de, de la cocinera. Yo le voy a, a calificar. Pues es de la cocinera. ¿Eh? Es de la cocinera. Porque todas son sus recetas. ¿Quién la preparó? Pues yo. Ah, la preparada, la que es la que prepara la cocinera. Ella es la que da las recetas. La ¿Cómo está? Las recetas. ¿Le falta sal? Pues la sala eso es lo, lo último. Cheque, ¿qué me da, baby? Ya. Como jurado, vamos a calificar este menudo. ¿Quieres vamos orégano? ¿Quieres más orégano? No, no sé si es orégano. ¿Qué? Está bueno. No la probó mi papá todavía. No la probó. Está bonita la prueba. Está sabroso. De 1 al 10. De 1 al 10 son 10. La calificación viene siendo 
Solo más le faltó la sal, ¿ah? ¿eh? 9.99, pero está muy rico. No sal. Pero Por las sales, así siempre la pueden acomodar. Todo Eso rico. está al gusto de ellos. ¿Verdad? La sal ya la pone uno al gusto de, de cada uno de es este. Alrighty, guys, and there you have it. Super easy and delicious a menudo. It's seriously delicious. And my mouth is already watery. I hope you guys had enjoyed watching this video, you know, and I hope you guys enjoyed the way it was, you know, put together. Um, let me know what you think. If you guys want to see future vlog, cooking vlog videos, let me know down below. And if you guys give um, this recipe a try, please don't forget to send me your pictures through Instagram, Snapchat, uh, Facebook, you name it. I like seeing you guys recreate the recipes. And if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you guys can be part of our family. And please don't forget to share it. It's almost Christmas, you know, the holidays are just around the corner. So share with your family so they can also get to taste this delicious menudo. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye. Say bye. Adios. Bye.